Hello, um, quick update video on my video to do with the faults in the van and um, the, you know, so I did a video on, there was a few faults with regards to the fridge, the press, um, the B pillar and so on and stuff like that. So I put the video up and um, got a lot of positive responses and stuff like that. So thank you very much for, for your comments and everything like that. Uh, and to the, the, uh, the summarise, people were basically saying it wasn't good enough and that um, I should chase up VW with regards to getting them fixed. Now, I was going to anyway. Um, I was just kind of building up, not the nerve, but just kind of building up a head of steam over it, like, you know, that kind of way. And um, that's what I did. So what So what I did was I contacted my my the sales rep in VW. So rather than going to the service, uh, rather than going to the... Um, Rather than going to the service department again, what I did was I contacted the sales rep, the guy who sold us the van in the first place, the sales agent, Jer, and uh, a brilliant guy. Love him. Love him to bits. Fantastic fella. I, I see people have some issues with the guys that sold in their vans, but man, we just can't fault Jer. He is a great guy. Really solid guy. He's always looked after us and um, he's like... Um, but just very good, very positive. Whenever we go over, he's always very incurious. I think he wants a California. I think that's the thing. I think he's looking to get one himself. Um, either that or he's just a brilliant salesman. So he sold us a very expensive van. So maybe that's maybe that's maybe that's what he is. Um, so what he, I emailed him anyway, and I just basically highlighted what the issues were, and that I wasn't happy in that the money we spent on the van and to have these things going wrong, such as the fridge door, the press, various other aspects and everything, that my worry, I think they should be fixed. And also my worry is that long term, it's just, just a sign of things to come. Hopefully not. Um, and what I was saying to him was, like I said, it's nothing against him. It's basically with VW. And the, the gist of the emails, that are gist of the comments that I was getting back from people were that... Um, you know, people aren't surprised by some of these issues. Uh, now, now, in the grand scheme of things, when you consider the whole van on the whole, they are minor enough. The only issue I have is, are they the tin end of the wedge? Are things going to start going wrong? And there was one one guy sent me some comments, and he seemed to be having a right rough time with the van altogether. So my commiserations there. Um, you know, it's one thing for a fridge door to act up, but it's another thing for a van to break down in the middle of nowhere and leave you stranded. That is an absolute nightmare. So, that's what's happened. I've contacted them. So, they said, bring it back. Bring it in and let us have a look. And I said, look, I'm going to leave it till uh, till she's brought over to, to, to be serviced. So, we're going to bring it over for a service uh, early in February. And um, I said, they can hang on to it. So, that's what they said. Hang on and let us have a look at the few issues and get them fixed. And So, there's no issues. The, the, the thing is, I thought the warranty on the van was two years. But people were correcting me and actually Jer corrected me that it was a three-year warranty on the van which is fantastic um, because I think the main point with these vans is that they don't do huge huge mileage it's an ironic thing really you will drive a long way to get to somewhere but then the van will sit or you probably won't do massive miles when you consider the van's two years old and I think we've only done between maybe 14 and 16 thousand kilometers in the whole thing which is nothing I would do with work I could do that in I could do that in 10 weeks just driving around with work um, so to think we have a van that's two years uh, and this is the problem I think the problem is that it gets such a low amount of wear and tear that these issues can hide on you and all of a sudden then you're out of warranty and then these things start to go wrong so it's probably makes sense to flag with them now that we're not happy anyway I'm going on the point is to summarise the point is three year warranty which is great um, we're going to bring her back and get her fixed and what I'll do is when they fix the van I'll do another update video so I think this will be like vlog 70 something A and the next one will be 70 something B and then that way you'll be able to see. Again, thank you for all the comments and all your support. Um, you know, it's great. The community out there is very good. And uh, so thanks to everyone who, who got back and commented and supported and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. And uh, feel free, feel free to send on any more comments or anything like that. So uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.